So during the filming of the last season of Scrapyard Wars, Jay's, not to be confused with the rapper Jay-Z, mentioned that LG had a TV coming that they said was good for gaming. And I was like, what the hell, LG? I've been bitching about the input lag on your TVs since we met. Why wasn't I told about this? And they were like, oh yeah, so we have this nano cell TV that's coming out and it has less processing delay. So I was like, hook me up so I can make a video. And they did. So I did. The Corsair One features a compact form factor that is fast, quiet, and, you guessed it, compact. Check it out through Amazon or Newegg at the links below. First impressions of the LG 55SJ8500. It looks pretty damn good. The bezels are thin, and the metal along the outside looks sharp. I mean, it's hard to explain exactly what makes a TV aesthetic work, but this design got the job done for us. And you know what else looks good? anything you toss up on the screen. The Grand Tour in 4K with HDR on Amazon Prime Video looks awesome. Car stuff, you can already tell Alex worked on this video. And the speakers are reasonably loud and clear. Now to be clear, our nano cell TV had the misfortune of being set up side by side with LG's W7 OLED wallpaper TV, and it's not as good as that. The black levels available on the OLED TV are simply stunning, and it is physically impossible for any modern LCD screen to achieve perfect black levels like that. But at half the price of LG's least expensive OLED, it's a pretty compelling picture. LG's biggest claim for their nano cell tech, which seems to be basically their branding for Quantum Dot, is accurate colors from any viewing angle, up to 60 degrees, which from our testing actually holds up pretty well. What they didn't mention though, is that the contrast isn't quite as good from a wider angle. From straight on, blacks are, well, black, but as you go to the side, black areas of the scene look more gray and less detailed. You won't encounter this on an OLED. Anyway, back to the original question though. Is there any credence to the claims that it's good for gaming? Well, the picture looks significantly less processed in game mode, suggesting that, well, there might be less processing going on, but I still find this claim confusing. As far as pure technology goes, the OLED pixels should switch much faster, nearly instantaneously. So, why would it be then that a more expensive TV would be slower than in any way? Is it possible that these OLED pixels are harder to drive or there's more processing left on in game mode? Meaning that the LCD nano cell TV might be able to edge out a win? Well, we fired up CSGO to try them side by side and see if we could eyeball out a clear victor. And from this completely non-scientific test, it did seem that the nano cell was offering a smoother gaming experience. Movements felt quicker than the OLED, which sort of felt jelly-like in comparison. So to confirm, we pulled out the 240 FPS camera. All right, so firing off a round, we... Wait, the OLED is faster? We checked this over and over, but side by side, the OLED was about eight milliseconds faster. Even stranger, the nano cell TV and our benchmark for true haste, the ASUS ROG Swift 258Q at 60 Hertz for fairness, were near to identical to each other as well. This seemed a bit strange. So we decided to get pure input lag numbers using the Makey Makey. For this test, when the two leads are touched together, the LED on the board lights up and sends a mouse click to the computer, so we can measure the delay between a click and an action on screen. After consulting our footage, we determined that our OLED delay is about 32 milliseconds, 
and the nano cell was about 40, this actually maybe makes sense given the approximately eight millisecond pixel response times of good LCDs compared to near instant for OLED. But that doesn't mean that like a gaming monitor, for example, can't perform any better than a TV. Our ROG monitor managed a mere 16 millisecond delay once we turned it up to 240 Hertz. Not to mention the extra frames that it displays. Man, that animation looks good. The point of that though, isn't to take away from the result of the NanoCell TV. I mean, sure, professional CSGO players won't be using one anytime soon, but I've used TVs before with over a hundred milliseconds of input lag that are straight up nauseating. And 40 milliseconds is comparable to a 60 Hertz gaming monitor. We're not quite done with this video yet though. Why did we initially think that the LCD was faster than the OLED? Well, it turns out that the crazy pixel response time on the OLED can feel like a disadvantage when you don't have vertical sync on. The divisions between the partial frames getting sent to the display are very obvious, and it makes for a clear line where the GPU was spitting out the frame at that instant, whereas the slower pixels on the LCD make it a little bit blurrier and less obvious. So then the solution, hey, LG consult our recent, we designed the perfect TV video and put freaking G-Sync on the OLED display. Then you can have your cake and eat it too. But until then, TLDR, the LG Nano Cell TV is great for watching TV shows and movies with the added bonus that unlike previous LG TVs, they're finally taking gaming seriously so it won't make you hurl when you boot up Rocket League. Audible has an unmatched selection of audiobooks, original audio shows, news, comedy, and more from leading audiobook publishers, broadcasters, entertainers, magazine and newspaper publishers, and business information providers. And the best part is they have professionals. Read them out so you don't have to just listen to people running out of air in their lungs while they talk about how it's great to listen to, whether you're busy, whether you're driving, whether you're working out, running errands, or whatever it is that you do in your busy life. I'd recommend checking out A Song of Ice and Fire. You know what they say, if the show's great, the book must be even better, which is of course what the popular HBO series Game of Thrones is based on. And if you're not already signed up for Audible, you can try the free trial, woo, which gives you a free audiobook with your 30-day trial membership. Just go to audible.com slash Linus, download a title free and start listening. The membership includes one free audiobook a month, exclusive sales, 30% off all regularly priced audiobooks, and unlimited access to channels content. So thanks for watching guys. If you disliked this video, you can hit that button. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. And while you're down there, check out our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one and our community forum.